Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's see. So we finished our fish market. Nice big open fish market here. And I need another stall right here. Initially, I was going to put a butcher shop, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put the butcher shop someplace else. Let's see. Oh, good. The lighting. Got plenty of lighting. I always keep double checking it. I did hide lights all behind all these walls, so you don't see the torches, but the light comes through. So just want to make sure about that. So here I've got plans to put up a vegetable stand. So first I want to dig out all of this and we're going to put coarse dirt in here. I think I'll leave a line of grass up against the wall. Because I'm just gonna set you know, like uh, fruit, like bins for the fruit to go on back there. You know, I gathered different fruits I have. So I've got uh, what do we got? Apples, uh, carrots, potatoes. Um, what else do I got? Uh, oh, I put some berries. Glowberry. I'm putting glowberries with the normal berries. Because they're all berries. I figure fruit stands have berries. I think the only thing I'm missing are beetroots. Oh, maybe some pumpkins. So I'm going to have to go find some of those. Because I didn't find any right off the bat. I found some beetroot seeds. So I planted those. I'm waiting for those to grow. But it doesn't help me need the actual beetroot. But luckily, I won't need that. Let's see. Oh, this is all lit. Okay. This just looks dark. But it's not, so let's not worry about that then. I just didn't want to have to, you know, if that was dark down there, I had mobs spawning, which will end up with, you'll just hear all this uh, zombies growling underneath the, underneath the dirt, and it's just annoying. I have to dig around to find them. And sometimes they're like, all you need is like a two by two spot or, you know, or even a one by two spot and you can get zombies you know spawn in there and then all you hear is the growl 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 and trying to find them is a pain so that's why i'm always trying i try to light up everything i can you know when i put these i guess holes and you know caves or i create caves under you know, like under here it's a big cave although if i had real buildings here i could put uh, basements and stuff. You know, I always try and give a lot of room. I figure, you know, I think when I first started, I was trying to just tighten things up and I pack things together. And then I started realizing that this world is like endless. I mean, it'll go on forever. So might as well take up as much room as you want. No need to cram everything into every little space. And there is a benefit to having open space in places because I think it helps helps with things putting making things open. And I think what I'm gonna do actually here was this. There we go. I was just gonna put all horse dirt through here but now that I ran out of horse dirt I didn't want to make any more <laughs> I've used the gravel so. okay so there we go so this is the footprint for my uh, fruit stand like I said I'm using open space we got a lot of open space here I'll put maybe some benches or something because this is more like an open market you come around here you're going to go, you got your fruit stand, you're going to your fish shop, and there may be uh, some more little, tiny little booths along here, like people selling, you know, books and shirts and that kind of stuff. Kind of like an open, uh, an open mark, open air market. So let's see, I've got this bamboo, so I thought bamboo, so like along the wall here, this is where the fruit 
There's going to be fruit on display back here. Do I have? Yes, I do. There we go. Do that. This end is going to be open. And we will go one, two, three. I think I may have to make some more of these. There, so we got an entrance in and kind of an exit out. And then here, there. So that'll hold the roof. Let's see, I think it may be better. Well, no, I've got I've got scaffolding, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay. I thought I'd have to get up top. But. There we go. So we're going to see how this works. I've not practiced with this, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. So you are learning with me on how this is gonna how this is gonna look. Like that here. Yeah, something like that. Do I need, um, <laughs> yeah, that'll work so I can do, I can do that. I don't think I planned on having that, uh, that post in, in my, when I did this in my mind. So. Oops, come on, up, 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 there we go. This will be here. Like that. There's there, that, and I think I may have to go get some more of these bricks. Yeah, because I only got 12. So I don't think that's going to be enough. Nope. And 12, I'm like too short. Jeepers. Okay, let me go find the extra two I need, and then I can finish this. Oops, I got. I put my wings on. I can fly. Oh, I'm going to hit the clouds. Look at that. We get a good look at the city as I fly over to where my supplies are. Look at that. This is actually probably the easiest way to get around. There we go. I have not used my Elytra for a long time. I usually just run or ride my horse and it's actually kind of fun to fly around. Oops, I wanted to stop over here. Did I ever get... Just checking. Let's see, these are waxed, 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 waxed. 
I was trying to remember if I ever came back and waxed these final. There was like four, four or five here that needed to be waxed. I did remember to go get the bees wax. Because there's didn't want them to turn green okay so let's do this I think that'll be well my only other thing is this warped maybe let's just I'm just gonna do this for insurance because I'm pretty sure 34 will get me what I need I didn't want to put like one short on the warped blocks either Let's go up here. So where were we? Oh yeah, we were finishing up these two. So that was the final bit there. And then for the top of the roof, we're gonna do. I'm trying to keep this roof low because of the houses. I don't want to block the view for the wolves. Which is also why I didn't put the butcher shop here, because the butcher shop would be much bigger and taller. In fact, I think all along here, I want to keep things low, almost below this, you know, this uh, railing. So it, they may end up being just like little pop-up tent stores, like in a market or a bazaar. And then I'll build the real buildings over there where I can go up higher. But it really doesn't, I don't want to go all the way up into here. Except over here, I think I'm going to put some buildings over here, which are like two stories. So you can get to them from the bottom and then you get to them from the top. Because this is going to be, a, this is mainly just a road level right here. But on this one, I don't want to really go too high. So I, you know, block the view from uh, the Big Bad Wolf's house here. And I think they can still see over everything. It doesn't really distract. It's like, if we go back here. Oh yeah, you can, that barely gets in the way. I mean, the tower's in the way more than this, I think. Yeah, and the tree's blocking that one, so you don't even notice it. Oh, and this one, you got a good, clear view. Yeah, so that's that's not going to be a problem. Then. And like I said, this is all going to be road. More open space along the sides for trees and benches and that kind of stuff. And we have more trees and benches through here. I wonder... Oh, dang, I was hoping I could just, like, jump and fly over the fence, but that's not going to work. Okay, so here is the fruit stand. We have our fruit stand area here. So along this back wall, oh no, I'm going to need more item frames, aren't I? Yep, I'm going to need more item frames. So we'll have, along the wall, we'll have fruit. So like, we would have our apples over here. Oh, so, you know, you're going to sell, well, like, eggs, but, like, people like to come and get their berries, so you'd have berries. So that'll be there. Down the middle, let's do, like, here. Maybe like this. Let's do that. Actually here, I want to do the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be the berries there. I think I'm gonna do like this. So I think that looks better. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll do that. So I need to go get it. I need to go bit of it. I can't talk, can I? I need to go get some more item frames, and then we can finish uh, kitting out the rest of this uh, store. Well, it's been a lot of go get this, go get that. Okay, I got more of my item frames. Let's 
These are a lot of item frames. I mean, that's just begging for some lag, but I think I'm going to put a couple pumpkins here. I'm also going to stack. You know, stack some pumpkins around over here. Kind of like, you know, and they have barrels of pumpkins. So these are pumpkins for sale over here, too. So, oops. Do that. There we go. So you got your pumpkins for sale. Found some beetroot. Put the beetroot there. Figure we're going to need, oh, berries. Yeah, so I figure we've got a bunch of berries over here. Lots of potatoes. Uh, what else? I got my apples. Oh, my carrots. I got carrots. Oh, and eggs. I got some eggs and carrots. So I figure maybe some eggs for sale. We'll just stick it. an egg there. And then, so I put berries, berries. Let's do carrot, carrot, carrot. Looks good. Oh, carrot. Yeah, so now I've got my fruit stand stuff done. Uh. Oops. I would be short. How many am I short? Two. I'm short two. I need to get a barrel too because I need to put the extra apples and fruit and stuff in there so we'll do that okay got lots of room here so i'll put a barrel here and we'll just throw our extra stuff in there maybe i'll put a barrel here and i've got room so i'll put a barrel over there then let's do like a lantern. Lantern there, lantern there, and one there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And maybe like one here and one, oops, one here. And one here. That doesn't touch, does it? Oh. So I think. Let's get rid of uh, that lantern. Here. Actually, that works out better, too. I wanted to really put it on the end, like over here. I think this is, yeah, this one's flying in the air, too, so. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Yeah, because that really wasn't where I wanted it. So right here makes much more sense. Yeah. There we go. A few lanterns to make it look nice. So you come through here. We have our open air market. So you come through. You can get pick up apples and berries and berries. Get your eggs if you need to. You've seen it, you know, the fruit stands, they always have like, oh, farm fresh organic eggs. They were freshly laid this morning by our chickens because they run around our organic garden when we grow our organic food and fertilize it. So that's, that's, you know, that's, if you've been to, a, if you've been to a farmer's market, you've seen that stuff. If you haven't, you should go see a farmer's market. They got lots, tons of neat little stuff there. Okay, so how's that look? I think, yeah, that's not bad. I'm, I'm trying to figure, you know, is, does the bamboo go with the warp, go with the, the crimson or red, the red up here? I think it does. I think maybe I, though I need, I need two more blocks here to push out, and then that will finish that. It just looks a little off there, so I think maybe another slab couple more slabs and we'll be done but that's just minor stuff i can go back and take care of that later the major stuff is done which means i'm majorly done with this episode for today 
So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.